So as I mentioned in Dr. Will's office, I realized that there are certain supplements that I can use in this chiropractic journey to aid in the healing process. We'll cover that in this video. So I came out to the park today to make a little vitamin D, or maybe not, which brings up a really important point, you know. I prefer food over supplements. I prefer, prefer sunshine over vitamin D capsules and pills, but sometimes we can't access exactly what we need in our lifestyle to support healing, to support health optimization. So today I wanna to talk about three very important things that I have realized I need in this process. One of them is vitamin D, the other is vitamin K2 specifically, and then collagen. And these are three things that we really need to be talking about a lot anyway. And they do contribute to laying down healthy bone. A lot of people know about vitamin D3. A lot of people know about magnesium and calcium and how important that is. Um, not so many people know about K2 and its role. And then that collagen actually, we're hearing about it for hair, skin, nails, and beauty, weight loss, cellulite, these kinds of things. But what about internal structures, your bone, would be brittle and would shatter if you didn't have collagen in there to make it more flexible and give it that resilience that makes it truly strong. So real quick, vitamin D3, specifically cholecalciferol, which you can make in your own body when sunshine hits your skin, it requires optimum cholesterol levels in your bloodstream. So you actually need appropriate fat molecules in your bloodstream being carried by lipoproteins. And so being on a statin drug, for example, can lower your ability to make vitamin D3 and inhibit your ability to lay down bone in the proper places. Plus there's like 600 different processes that rely upon vitamin D3. In my particular case, I need my spine to heal and I need calcium from my diet to go to the right places, which brings us to K2. Vitamin K2 is not the same as K1, but both of them play a role in clotting factors. K2 also acts as an air traffic controller, telling calcium where to go, which is ideally to your bones and not to making bone spurs like we saw on my x-ray, not to making kidney stones, not to making gallstones, not to making your blood vessels hard and atherosclerotic. So these are places we don't want calcium. To get it to the bone, vitamin K2 plays a huge role. Well, guess what? It was in our milk products for a really long time, for thousands of years when animals actually grazed on grass and were in pasture because they pick up K1 from the grasses. And then the microbiome in their gut that is really good at digesting all of these grasses can turn K1 to K2 and it comes out in their meat and it comes out in their milk, their mammary glands secrete it. And so cows can do it and humans can do it to a certain extent too if we have a healthy gut and we eat the right things but that's just not the state of things today so here we have a cloudy day no ability to make vitamin d3 i have you know i live in a world where it's very hard to access dairy products with k2 and it's very hard for me to even make k2 uh, out of my diet so these are two things that i really need to supplement we saw a bone spur on my x-ray research has shown that vitamin k2 can actually pull some of that calcium out of where it doesn't belong, get it back into the bloodstream, and then help lay it down where it does belong, which is in healthy, strong bones. At 47, you know, I need to start thinking about my bone density. So I need that calcium to be in my bones. Real quick now, collagen. I've already talked a lot about collagen. You can see that link below. Collagen peptides, which represents eating the rest of the animal, eating nose to tail, and getting those particular amino acids, glycine, proline, and hydroxyproline, that will make collagen everywhere else in my body. That will help my discs. It actually helps your intervertebral discs. I know Dr. Will said you can't always recover discs, but I, you know, I'm relying on the hope that I actually can, that I can make that disc in my neck a little bit thicker, a little more resilient, that I can make my spinal vertebrae more strong, that I can lay down bone in other places that is strong and resilient. So I'm really relying upon those collagen peptides to help me in that process so if you're on a chiropractic journey if you are trying to rid yourself of bone spurs or calcium in places that it shouldn't be if you're trying to maintain and rebuild healthy bone from after an injury a surgery a break or just because you've been diagnosed as osteopenic or osteoporotic these are three things to really look into you'll see my favorite cleanest options listed below. Thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, get the notification, stay on this chiropractic journey with me. Hit me up on Instagram and as always, live long, live strong and make a difference.